Lower Granite Dam on the scenic Snake River in Washington State is one of many hydroelectric projects worldwide where the passage of migrating juvenile fish is an important environmental issue. At Lower Granite and other U.S. Army Corps of Engineers dams in the Pacific Northwest, research is now underway to develop better methods for passing juvenile salmon around the dams to increase the number making it to the ocean where they will mature and return as adults. To help in this effort, the Corps has developed an analysis and modeling technology called the numerical fish surrogate, which is used to mathematically decode the 3D movement behavior patterns of individual fish responding to hydrodynamics, water quality, and other stimuli in their aquatic environments. At Lower Granite Dam, the technology couples a sophisticated fish swim path selection model to a 3D computational fluid dynamics model. Complex movement behavior patterns of electronically tagged individual juvenile salmon are translated into a mathematical description of behavior. The numerical fish surrogate technology allows design engineers to forecast the impact of future structures and dam operations on the movement and passage response of juvenile salmon in a virtual reality environment. Structures can then be modified or eliminated in the early stages of project planning, reducing costs and dramatically minimizing the environmental impact on migrating fish populations. In addition, the technology also allows detailed study of existing structures and dam operations to determine ways they may be modified to lessen their impact. To understand the movement of juvenile salmon in the lower granite dam forebay, it is first necessary to understand their movement in natural free-flowing rivers. Every object in a stream or river that interrupts the flow of water creates a hydrodynamic signature, often with an identifiable pattern. Many fish species, including salmon, are capable of sensing hydraulic strain signatures caused by objects such as boulders, logs, and the riverbank using hydrodynamic sensors distributed over their bodies. These sensors are called the fish mechanosensory system. This enables fish to detect features and navigate around objects even in the dark. Man-made objects of steel or concrete can create hydrodynamic signatures that are quite different than those of natural features, sometimes causing fish to become confused and swim in directions that could lessen their chance for survival. The numerical fish surrogate can forecast which way fish may swim when these man-made objects are added to their environment, providing engineers a new tool for designing future structures. A 3,200-foot concrete gravity dam with an effective height of 100 feet. The lower granite includes a navigation lock, an eight-bay spillway measuring more than 500 feet in length, and a hydroelectric powerhouse with the six turbine intakes. Some project additions have been built to improve the passage of out-migrating juvenile salmon. These include the Surface Bypass Collector, or SBC, and the Behavioral Guidance Structure, or BGS a trash boom built as part of the original project, keeps floating debris away from the powerhouse, but it can also influence the movement behavior of out-migrating juvenile salmon. Virtual fish generated by the numerical fish surrogate make movement decisions based on gradients of stimulus intensity acquired within their sensory ovoid. The sensory ovoid represents the range of sensory acuity of the fish species being modeled. The virtual fish representing juvenile salmon at Lower Granite Dam make their 3D movement decisions based on two trigger hydrodynamic stimuli, the change in relative hydraulic strain and the change in relative pressure. The change in relative hydraulic strain, Ki, is the difference between the value of hydraulic strain at the fish's location and the intensity of hydraulic strain to which the fish is already acclimated. 
The change in relative pressure can be approximated by the change in relative depth, di, and is the difference between the actual depth of the fish and the depth to which it is acclimated. The following numerical fish surrogate scientific visualizations were created using Department of Defense computational assets located at the Corps' Engineer Research and Development Center Major Shared Resource Center. As juvenile salmon encounter the hydraulic strain imposed on the flow field by the trash boom, there is increasing motivation or utility for the juvenile salmon to swim in the direction of increasing water velocity to reduce their exposure to elevated strain, which can predict impending turbulence and result in impaired sensory acuity. Migrating juvenile salmon deeper in the water column, however, may not sense the elevated hydraulic strain imposed on the flow field by the trash boom and show no apparent response. Many juvenile salmon passing under the hydraulic influence of the trash boom more or less follow the flow until they encounter elevated strain imposed on the flow field by the behavioral guidance structure or BGS. Depending on the depth and angle of the BGS relative to flow, the hydrodynamic signature of the BGS can be similar to what a fish might expect near the riverbank. As with fish first encountering the trash boom, there is increasing utility for juvenile salmon to swim in the direction of increasing water velocity to reduce their exposure to elevated strain. Future fish bypass research should be directed towards developing structures and operations that work in concert with both the physiological and psychological characteristics of animal behavior. The numerical fish surrogate was developed by the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center in collaboration with Cornell University, the University of Washington, and the University of Iowa. The numerical fish surrogate is improving researchers' abilities to understand the complex underlying dynamics of fish movement behavior that impact the overall success of water resource management. This capability provides valuable engineering design guidance as to how management action might be better integrated into a fish's environment.